So it finally happened. Felwyn's lie is in our hands. But is it as lethal as it once was in year one of Destiny 1? First up, I just want to point out the coolest part to this quest line is obviously the lore, okay? I actually learned a few things. Number one, Rasputin does not mess around, man. Essentially, and by the way, spoilers before we go any further, he created Felwinter, I guess to like what? Get in touch with humans and like understand humans. And essentially, Felwinter is like AI Jesus. It's about the best way to explain it, okay? Felwinter eventually gets approached by a ghost and becomes a guardian. And I'm assuming what happens is he gains his own identity at that point because we know what the light does to you. Rasputin realizing that he made an uh-oh, needed to get rid of Felwinter, but was having a difficult time because the light makes you kind of invincible. You're a little more difficult to kill. So long story short, he manipulated Siva, and this essentially ties back into Rise of Iron. Siva, in the process, not only kills Felwinter, but also kills the other Iron Lords. And there's a little more to it, but I thought that was pretty freaking dope. So I just wanted to touch up on that before we got into the review. Now, upon essentially looting Felwinter's Rasputin, Sputin AI tomb or whatever, you get Felwinner's line. Intrinsically, this weapon comes with shot package, aggressive frame shotgun, modify to have a more uniform pellet spread. Now this was actually a trait back inside of Destiny 1, a trait so good that Bungie actually removed it. We're gonna talk about its benefits today, but the barrel perk found on the shotgun is also full choke, which tightens that pellet spread, accurized rounds for that increase in range, and now the trait combinations. These are, by the way, some of the best trait combinations you could ever get on a shotgun. And the fact that this is on a static roll is even better. First up, slide shot and opening shot. Yes, fellas, they do actually stack together. We actually tested this a while back on Wigan Vigil. It's a little harder to actually test it here on a shotgun, but slide shot actually boosts that range and stability on your slide. Opening shot just gives you that improved range and accuracy on the opening shot of your attack actually tagging on close to like 0.5 meters in range. Now, even though these two stack, it's really hard to choose slide shot over what's below it, which is quick draw. Quick draw is so beneficial, especially on a very low handling shotgun like this, where you wanna have your shotgun ready at all times, and not just when you go to swap it, but even when you're sliding around corners and you just want your shotgun to be immediately in your hands, ready to be used. Now the perk right next to it is Vorpal Weapon for that increase in damage against bosses, vehicles, guardians with their super active. Yes, it also works against champions. A very good perk, tacking on like an extra 15% in damage, but let's talk about the shotgun guys. First up, kill range. The furthest I could get this shotgun to kill was exactly nine meters. Now, consistently, it can bang at eight meters, no problem. Eight, 8.5, it starts to stretch a little bit. Nine, it's a lot more inconsistent, but it can still land a kill. Now, obviously this is with opening shot, that tacks on that extra bit of range. Just know if you take that perk off, you cut down on your range by approximately 0.5 meters. Also, you lose out on that improvement there in accuracy. Now, comparing this shotgun's range, I guess, to other shotguns, for the most part, God Roll Astro Horizon kills at about 8, 8.5 meters, right? To my knowledge, Felwinter, outside of Slug Shotguns, Felwinter is the only other shotgun that can reach 9 meters. So it's got a leg up already. Now the thing about Shot Package in Full Choke, in PvP, the combination of these two actually do something that a lot of shotgun apes out there don't like to do. It actually requires you to aim a little more effectively. And that's something about this shotgun. It actually has a more uniform pellet spread. It's a lot more consistent. There is no real major deviations in shots. You'll notice when you shoot things like Astro or Toil or pretty much any other shotgun, it's not always the same pellet spread, right? A pellet would like leak out of the side or just randomly go left or right. A lot of RNG built into that. Shot package and full choke almost seems to have the same pellet spread every single time, keeping it tight and consistent no matter what. And even full choke on other shotguns, I've got a tool here with full choke, there's still some built-in RNG that throws some of those pellets out, which of course can result in you not getting the one-shot kill. So that's the benefit here of shot package. It just makes this shotgun more consistent. Now, the question I have is that is full choke actually needed here? You know, when you shoot from the hip with Felwinter, you still see that pretty uniform pellet spread. I mean, for the most part, it's very consistent. It does slightly tighten up just a little bit with full choke, but to some degree, I wonder, 
how would rifle barrel actually play out on the shotgun with something like shot package? I kind of think it would have been better. Overall though, my experiences with just its one hit kill potential was favorable. It does require you to land your shots. It does require you to be on point. There's not as much RNG there, but just remember it is a shotgun inside of Destiny 2 and shenanigans can happen. A lot of times the shenanigans occur when you take incoming fire while aiming down sights. Which is why you see a lot of people use shotguns from the hip. Now, even though everything here seems to point to you aiming down sights, it's okay to use a shotgun from the hip. Shot package is still at work, still keeping that pellet spread very uniform. Now let's talk about Vorpal weapon. Vorpal is not present on any other shotgun outside of CQC, which we just recently reviewed. Now Vorpal cannot get the one shot kill. It actually has to fire two shots in order to shut down a super. Felwinner's lie though with Vorpal allows us to shotgun melee combo to get the shutdown on a super. Essentially what we used to do back inside of Destiny 1. Now you cannot do this with aggressive shotguns, at least against your basic resistant supers. You can do this against like Chaos Reach, but just know like Mindbenders, Astral, nine times out of 10, a shotgun shot and melee combo will leave that super with health. But as you see right here, Vorpal is just smacking these supers down. And fellas, this is extremely nice, man. I can't stress how good this is. So the way you should actually be using the shotgun is opening shot should be used 99% of the time. But as soon as you know you're about to go up against supers, say for instance, like trials or survival, you get into those later rounds, I highly suggest swapping over to Vorpal to allow you to have a chance against those supers and potentially shut them down. It's probably one of the biggest benefits of using this shotgun. Because we have snipers that can obviously shut down supers. You know, Revoker, probably the number one sniper when it comes to shutting down supers. Hell, in the fusion rifle department, we got Bastion that can shut down supers. But we don't really have a shotgun, say, outside of maybe Lord of Wolves, which I don't even know how Lord of Wolves is doing in this sandbox, considering it got nerfed. Outside of that, we really don't have a shotgun, though, that can shut down supers. This shotgun melee combo is just something people are not expecting in this sandbox. And then on top of that, if it's just basic cleanup, say that guy rocking a super has half health, but he thinks he can tank your shotgun shot, if you're rocking something like Vorpal, you'll easily put him down. And against certain supers with low resistance, Chaos Reach, you can actually one-shot a Chaos Reach, which is pretty incredible. Every other super, even Spectral Blades Invisible, can still get the one-shot melee combo. And Golden Gun, it actually increases the damage against Golden Gun, since Golden Gun doesn't actually have damage resistance in its super. So that's like the biggest selling point to me, guys, is that Vorpal allows us to shut down supers here with a shotgun. Now, inside of Crucible, we tried a bunch of different things, guys. We essentially just utilized it with Quick Draw opening, swapping off to Vorpal when we needed to, using the shotgun probably in its best form. Quick draw allows a shotgun to be used very fluidly, but I wanted to see, is it possible for us to still utilize a shotgun with slide shot and opening shot, stacking those two things together? No, it doesn't necessarily increase the one hit kill range, but it does tack on a little more damage and plus slide shot by itself. It's just such a good perk, especially like mid gunfight when you're just sliding back and forth, reloading your gun. You don't have to stop to reload, allowing you to chain through multiple enemies. To rectify the slow handling speed that I was experiencing, we actually went with an enhanced dexterity perk for shotguns, as well as quick charge with that secondary perk that allows us to ready our shotguns immediately. Even then, even with those two things combined, there's just something about quick draw that still has an edge which I was really surprised with. You still have a fast draw time, but it's just not on the same level as quick draw. Matter of fact, I actually ended up rocking quick charge and quick draw together. And I haven't really broke things frame by frame, but just from experiencing it, I kind of think those things stack. If they do stack, it might not be that noticeable of a difference, but I felt like it was helping me. Either way it goes, it's really hard for me to say that using this shotgun without quick draw is the right option. I really think quick draw, at least for my play style, is a necessary perk for me to consider using this shotgun over other shotties. Which brings us to the hierarchy of shotguns. What is the best shotgun in the game now for PvP? Is it Felwinner's Lie? A lot of people were jumping in the chat saying, nope, Mindbenders is still my baby. Astro Horizon is still my baby. I'm not using Felwinner. It sucks. It's inconsistent. For myself, I prefer Felwinner over Mindbenders. Now, 
Probably the biggest contributing reason to that is I have yet to come across a true God role for my mind bender. Like every time I've ever gotten a mind bender, it's always missing something. Like I would have great perks, great range, but no quick draw. Or I would have quick draw, but crappy barrel perks and other things. So I never could land the absolute God roll mind bender. So I can't really say there. But if I had to choose either Fell Winter or Astro Horizon, guys, I think Astro would still be my preferred choice. Even though Fell Winter is consistent and it's definitely got a place, to me, it's up there with the best shotguns but not necessarily surpassing them. I honestly think the main reason why they brought Felwinter back outside of like lore and stuff is because eventually Monbender will be sunset. You will not be able to use it in in-game PvP content. So this is like Bungie's way of being like here. Here's a nice, beautifully static roll shotgun that you'll be able to use at least for the next year, maybe a tad bit longer. Now inside of PvE, Felwinter does come with Vorpal, which is why we have to consider it. Now granted, it also comes with full choke, which even though it does tighten that pellet spread, it's at the cost of precision damage. Now how you can kind of evade that is by not aiming down sights. Actually shooting from the hip allows us to maintain maximum damage, matching that of other shotguns in the aggressive archetype. So over here at Greg, when aiming down sights, we did 18,603, and from the hip, we hit 19,990. So that's a 7.5% increase there in damage when shooting from the hip instead of aiming down sights. Now with something like Vorpal, this increases it by 15% to a whopping 22,989 damage from the hip. And when combining Vorpal and Major Spec, this increases that damage by another 7.8% to 24,775 damage from the hip. Now, I don't know about you guys, shooting from the hip and remembering to shoot from the hip might throw you off a bit inside of PvE. Obviously, against really big targets, this is not that big of an issue. Champions, for instance. I want to utilize this shotgun in PvE, though, just because of Vorpal. Now, something I want to mention is that the shot packet intrinsic perk still puts it in that aggressive frame archetype. Now, if you read the aggressive frame archetype, it says that it's hard hitting, high recoil, but it also increases the rate of fire after a kill. Fell winner with shot package also experiences that. It gets that increase in fire rate upon landing a kill with a shotgun, which is actually pretty substantial. But something that you'll notice about Fell winner, at least what I notice, is that magazine size of only four starts to really hurt you. I think Toil and Trouble is still the better PVE aggressive frame shotgun for like a number of reasons. A larger magazine size, it can roll things like full auto and assault mag, but it can't roll Vorpal. So you really just got to sit down and ask yourself what's more important. The 15% increase there in damage, which does stack pretty nicely, but you will be constrained to shooting from the hip only, as well as a smaller magazine size. On top of that, shotguns like Tool is present in the kinetic slot, which are automatically doing more damage inside of PvE. So it's a tough one, man. It's really hard for me to recommend Fell Winter for PvE unless you're specifically targeting Vorpal for that increase in damage. And even then, I don't know if it's enough of a selling point. So guys, that is our review for Fell Winter's Lie in Destiny 2. If you don't have a well rolled shotgun, then this thing is perfect for you in that energy slot. No, it may not be the best shotgun, but it's got a lot to offer. It avoids a lot of the pellet RNG, at least to some degree, and considering something like Mind Benders will be sunset in the future, Fell Winners will be a great option to fill that void. Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching, and as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.